video. Wrestle Kingdom 8, or that's what they say, Wrestle It was really good. Uh, they're just kind of lackluster. There was a total of 10 matches on the card. Plus, if you add the pre-show, that's 11. So, it was a stack show, that's for And, uh, yeah, so, this match, we start off, I mean, the show starts off with uh, the pre-show match, which was a pretty decent match. It was actually uh, Captain... Bushi versus Manabu Nakanishi, Super Strong Machine, Jiyushin Thunder Liger, and uh, Komatsu, Yohei Komatsu, who replaced Tiger Mask. Uh, Tiger Mask had a uh, appendicitis, so he couldn't make it. So uh, one of the uh, young lion, uh, or up-and-coming star, Komatsu, Yohei Komatsu, replaced uh, Tiger Mask. This match was good. It was fun. Uh, Tenzan sort of got pushed down to the uh, pre-show, which was kind of a down, like kind of a step down for him. Uh, but, but this was a good match, uh, back and forth, fun stuff. Uh, basically, what happened is uh, Tenzan um, had a D, had a uh, crab hold or a crab lock submission maneuver, and uh, Boston Crab and he uh, and uh, Hamna tapped out, and that was basically it. Um, so yeah, uh, that was basically it, really. Uh, they, some guys, Super Strong Machine didn't get in too much. Uh, the regular guys, veterans, did their usual stuff. That was basically all I got to say. Good opener, better than your average pre-show probably. But what are you? You're gonna expect that, that on Wrestle Kingdom, the biggest event, that the pre-show would be better than usual, and it was. Overall great, I'd give it probably two and a quarter stars out of five. Just a decent match to open up the show. Two and a quarter out of five. And uh, yeah. So then the next match we have, we go to the main card, the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Title. It is a four-way match, not an elimination, just a four-way match. Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson of the Young Bucks are the champions. They go up against the Time Splitters, Kushida and Alex Shelley, who come out in a Back to the Future style car with the doors that open up. With a Kushida has this cool vest on. It's just almost is really awesome. They had some cool interesting entrances in the show. And then they uh Kushi versus uh Kushida and Alex Shelley, the Time Splitters, like I said, versus Takamichi Nuku and uh Taishi versus Rocky Romero and Alex Kozlov of the Forever Hooligans. Going into this match, I thought maybe there was a chance that uh, somebody like uh, the Time Splitters or uh, the uh, Forever Hooligans could uh, win the titles. I would I was going for the uh, Young Bucks because I'd like to see them more in Japan. The Young Bucks are just entertaining to me. I know some people don't like them. But uh, basically... It was back and forth action, good stuff all around. It was sort of sloppy in a way, but what do you expect? It's a four-way tag match, back and forth, good stuff. Uh, the Bucks retained, the Young Bucks retained with more bang for your buck on uh, Tai Chi. And uh, everybody did good. Everybody... ...cars out of five. Two and three quarter stars out of five. Two point seven five out of five. Good match. Uh, Young Bucks retain in a uh, pretty good match. Good way to open it up on the uh, main uh, card. So yeah, then the next match we have the IWGP Tag Team Title. We had uh, Lance Archer and Davy Boy Smith Jr. The champions um, going up against the. Uh, Carl Anderson, Machine Gun Carl Anderson, and Doc Gallows. Obviously, you remember him as Doc in TNA or Luke Gallows in WWE. 
Uh, they're part of the Bullet Club. Lance Archer and Davy Boy Smith. It was good. Uh, I was hoping that they would retain, but sadly they did not. I do like Machine Gun Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows as a team. They're entertaining to watch. They're, uh, it's, it was an entertaining match. Lance Archer did really well. He looked really well in this match. Uh, Davy Boy Smith looked all right. And uh, Carl Anderson and Gallows shined as well. They looked pretty good. Smith out of the ring, hit the magic killer on Archer, like I said, pinned him for the 1-2-3. New IWGP Tag Team Champions, Carl Anderson and, da and Doc Gallows. Uh, good stuff. And, uh, yeah. Then the next match we have... Oh, wait, I didn't give the rating, sorry. The rating I would give would be a three and a quarter stars out of five. Good match. Three and a quarter stars out of five for this match. I thought this was one of the matches that didn't get as much uh, credit as it deserved, but good match. The next match we have NWA World Heavyweight title match. Rob Conway, who's the champ, going up against Satoshi Kojima. I was going for Kojima. I'm not a huge fan of uh, Rob Conway. Uh, Kojima had a uh, Harley Race in his corner, which is pretty cool. He uh, At the beginning, Harley Race uh, punched uh, Bruce Tharp, Rob Conway's manager, in the face, took him out, and that was pretty cool cool and uh, yeah so then back and forth this match was good uh, better than I expected it to be Rob Conway one of the better matches I've seen him in to be honest um, Kojima looked good as usual uh, back and forth basically what happened is towards the end um, uh, basically what he hit a big old lariat to uh, win the title pinned Rob Conway one two three big pop for him and then uh, at the end, Coach Satoshi Kojima posed with uh, Harley Race. Good, cool moment. I'm glad uh, Satoshi Kojima is the uh, NWA champion because I was Rob Conway's all right. I don't have a problem with him. He's a decent wrestler, pretty good. I just don't really can't get into him too much. And I'm glad uh, Kojima won because I do like him. And uh, overall rating I'd give this match is uh, two and three quarter stars out of five. Two and three quarter stars. Two point seven five out of five is what I give that match. It's good stuff. Like I said, Satoshi Kojima, new NWA World Heavyweight Champion. The next match we have... Daniel Gracie and, Rol and Rolls Gracie, the Gracie brothers. Uh, it, this match sucked. Uh... Uh, it, was, didn't even, it was more like MMA style, as expected with Gracie brothers, because they're not really even wrestlers, to be honest. I mean, I knew this match was going to be a train wreck going in. Um, Voices of Wrestling, if you uh, go to their website, they are one of the uh, American wrestling uh, websites that covers uh, New Japan and has some cool podcasts, so check them out. A little, pro a little plug for them on VoicesOfWrestling.com. They said themselves that uh, on the podcast they thought this match was going to be terrible. All the people who really like NJPW knew this match was going to be terrible. I knew it was going to be terrible. The match was better than I expected, which is not saying much, because I thought it was going to be awful and would like ruin the whole pace of the show. It ruined it a little bit, but not too bad. It was just really slow, boring, dull. Not god-awful, but I mean, Nagata and Sakuraba did okay. The Gracie twins were terrible, or not twins, brothers. It was boring as hell, and uh, basically what happened is Daniel Gracie choked out Nagata. Uh, he was DQ'd for choking out Nagata, and uh, he celebrated like he won. I was like, why are you celebrating? You just lost the dang match. It, whatever. Basically, Nagata and Kazushiki, I mean, Kazushi Sakuraba, uh, they uh, won this match via disqualification since Gracie choked down Nagata. That was that. Overall grade, I give this match one star out of five. Not good. Uh, probably the worst match of the night. The next match we had, a uh, special tag match, which was uh, Minoru Suzuki, 
one of my very favorites in NJPW, and Shelton X Benjamin. Obviously, you remember Shelton Benjamin from the WWE. Going up against Great Muda, a legend, and Toru Yanu, funny guy. Uh, awesome entrance for Yano and Muda. They had some dragons going out like this, and then they came out. Awesome stuff, but Muda always has cool entrances. At the beginning, and this match, I was expecting probably too much, too high. Um, I was, had a lot of expectations for this match. This match wasn't bad by any means. It was a solid match, but I think I had higher expectations than I should have. The match was good, back and forth. Basically what happens is... Uh, Yano pu uh, pushed Muta. Muta got mad, spit the green mist at uh, Yano. Yano ducks. It hits Suzuki in the face. Yano uh, rolls Suzuki up for the one, two, three, and uh, Yano and uh, Great Muta win this match. See the roll up after uh, Muta spit and spit the green mist in Suzuki's face. Good match, solid match. Overall grade, I'd give this uh, two and a half stars out of five. Two and a half out of five. Good match, uh, solid match, okay. But uh, a little, I was a little disappointed, but I think I had too high, too high expectations, like I said. But good, solid match. Then we had intermission. That was that. Then we went on to the King of Destroyer match, Toji Makabe versus King. You had to win by either knocking someone out or or uh, submission, and that was kind of the stipulation of the King Destroyer match. Back and forth, at one point, uh, there was a uh, Kabi powerbombed Folly through a table on the floor. That was cool. Um, he all, he kind of overshot it a little bit and uh, looked a little, <laughs> a little botched, but it was cool. Then um, basically what happens is Makabe hit him with the uh, knee drop, uh, one, two, three, Maccabi picks up the win. Uh, or not one, two, three. There was a ten count, and uh, Folly didn't get up in time for the ten count. So basically what happens is Maccabi picked up the win. Maccabi did not get knocked out, or like everybody else seems to, by uh, the bad luck fall by King Folly. He got up at like the eight count. So that was good. I didn't want to see it in like that. Overall grade, I give this match. Two and a quarter stars out of five. Decent match. Nothing special. Maccabi picks up the win. I don't know what they're going to do with Folly. It's going to be interesting. Even though he's in Bullet Club, I just don't really know what to expect. And, yeah. Next match we have, singles match. Haruki Goto return match. Uh, it's Haruki Goto versus Shibata. This match was really good. I really enjoyed it. Back and forth action. Good, good pace. I liked it. Uh, basically what happens is neither man was near fall after near fall. Neither guy gave up. Uh, they, Goto finally put him away with the uh, Shouting Kai. One, two, three. Pinned him. Beat Shibata. Good match. Uh, <laughs> about fell and ate it just then. Uh, I liked it. And then they helped each other to the back. and uh, So that seems to be it with that. Overall grade, I'd give this match. Uh, three and three quarter stars out of five. Three and three quarter stars out of five. Three point seven five out of five. Good stuff. Back and forth action. The next match we have the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Title. Prince Devitt, the champion, the the creator, the leader of the Bullet Club, versus Kota Ibushi. This match was good. Prince Devitt comes out of like this coffin as a zombie gimmick. He's painted like red and black. They had some awesome entrances for NJPW. WrestleMania needs to take some notes because these entrances were pretty cool. Various different ones. Back and forth action. This was actually my favorite match of the night, believe it or not. A lot of people didn't like it because Bullet Club kept interfering. They kept uh, stomping on Ibushi outside of the ring when the ref had his back turned. Bullet Club kept interfering, and the people weren't liking it. They just wanted to see Devitt and Ibushi wrestle. But I didn't have too much of a problem with it. I thought this match was good. It picked up pace towards the end, and halfway through it was really good. I liked it. 
Eventually, Bullet Club, the guys that were ringside, got kicked out. So it was just Ibushi and Devitt going at it just the way the fans wanted it the last, like, 10 minutes or so. Back and forth. Ibushi hits the Phoenix Splash. One, two, three. Picks up the win over Prince Devitt. New IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, Kota Ibushi. He picks up the win. Good match. Overall grade, I'd give this match four and a quarter stars out of five. Yes, 4.25 out of five. Good match. I really enjoyed it. And uh, there was a couple spots in the match where Bushi looked like he had some rough spots, but that's all I'll say. And, uh, yeah, definitely a match you need to check out. Then one of our main events, double main event number one, IWGP heavyweight title on the line, Kazushika Okada, the champion, one of my favorites as well, in NJPW versus Tatsuya Naito. There was debate going in this match whether uh, Naito would uh, pick up the win since he won G1 Climax, get this shot at the title. This was a good match. I liked it back and forth. I thought it was one of the best matches of the night as well as the uh, Prince of Eat match. Good stuff. Basically what happens, back and forth action. Neither guy, just sort of like the Goto and uh, Shibata match, back and forth, nobody giving up. And uh, just good stuff from both guys. Really liked it. Basically what happens is... Uh, Okada delivered two tombstone pile drivers and then uh, hits a rainmaker to uh, finally put down Nato. Pins him one, two, three. Great match. Overall great. I'd give this match four stars out of five. Kazushika Okada picks up the win over Tetsuya. Nato retains the IWGP heavyweight title. So Kazushika Okada is still your IWGP heavyweight champion. And the final match of the night, double main event, IWGP Intercontinental title, Shinsuke Nakamura, the champion, versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. This match was really good. I enjoyed it. Just I thought it was equally as good as Okada and uh, Naito. Okada and Naito I thought maybe a little bit better, but this match definitely did not disappoint. Good stuff. Fast-paced, back and forth. Both guys giving it their all like you'd expect. Good match. Definitely delivered. Basically what happens is uh, Nakamura uh, tried to go for several different moves and um, Tanahashi eventually countered him, hit the uh, HFF on uh, Nakamura who was, about, who was kind of getting up at the same moment he hit the HFF. Uh, then he hit a second one down for the finish, pins him one, two, three, Hiroki. Overall, the match great. I'd give this match four stars out of five as well. Good match. Definitely didn't disappoint. Great eye pay per view. Definitely Wrestle Kingdom did not disappoint. Overall great. I'd give this show eight and a quarter stars out of five. Eight point two five out of ten stars. Good show. Overall great. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe. Thanks, guys.